Hi everyone, welcome to The Shot, and here's to the mule driver who almost discovered Pluto. The mule driver. I don't know about this. Ooh, that is smooth. Ooh, feels good. All right. Let's go back in time. <laughs> the year 1904. Ooh, it was a good year. Very good, good year. year. Almost as old as I am. <laughs> Take a drink, everybody. All right. So um, an important observatory was being built. Ooh. The Mount Wilson Observatory yeah, in Los Angeles. The Hooker Telescope, which I love. Yeah, yeah, hey. All right, which we'll talk about just briefly in a second. So, but there was a guy, uh -huh. uh, Milton Humison. Humison. That's the name I would make up if I was an alien. Yes. I am Humison. <laughs> so he was, uh, this is a great story um, about somebody who has, um, you know, overcome the odds. Okay. And become really successful. An underdog story. It's kind of an underdog story okay. a little bit. So Milton had dropped out of high school. He was like, I had enough of this bullshit. formal education, bullshit, indoctrination from the man, from the white man. I'm not going to be another brick in the wall. No, no. So he dropped out of high school. And he got a job. He got a job as a mule driver um for the construction of the mount wilson observatory oh, is this okay keep going i'm right yeah. so okay. he would transport shit uh, -huh. uh up the mountain i mean say shit is important with stuff his mule. with his mule and so he would take stuff up and as one does he would um he would talk to people he would talk to the construction workers and okay. He would find out what was going on, and he was really quite interested and um, excited about this new bill that was going on that he was bringing up stuff for. And um, he actually ended up getting a job with the crew as a janitor. Okay. And eventually, oh. and eventually, the, the observatory was built, and he became, um, after a while, an assistant darkroom, a darkroom assistant for the observatory. From mule driver, from mule driver. It's, a, it's like a Matt system. Damon moment there. Yes, it is. And so, and so he um, he he's doing just a just a real quick aside though. The um, the mount for the Mount Wilson Observatory uh -huh. Telescope, the Hooker Telescope, weighs twenty two tons. So it's a shit ton. You're gonna a couple mules. Forty four thousand pounds. Holy shit. But you know what's crazy is to make it so that it was easy to rotate. They put it in this, like, on top of this vat, this cylinder, this tub, this kid pool of mercury. Oh, <laughs> mercury? Of mercury. That's, That's cool. fucking mercury? awesome. <laughs> so, this seems like OSHA it. would have an issue. <laughs> 1904. Long OSHA. before OSHA. Um, All right. And so... Um, Milton is working as um, a darkroom assistant at this time, and okay. and he's talking to the astronomers. And the astronomers are doing their thing, looking through looking through the telescope. Sure, you know, and they're actually looking at this. This is before detectors, right? This they is actually they're have actually, actually well, oh, but they also have cameras. Yeah, yeah, they, have, okay, they also okay, have cameras. Okay, okay. Have the cameras right, this right. Because he's a darkroom assistant, okay, and so okay, so, um, so the the image comes in from the camera on the plate, right, and, and he goes and yeah, yeah. It's, it's exposure. <laughs> so. Um, <laughs> forgot where I was at. So <laughs> Milton, Milton starts, like he did with construction mm -hmm. workers, he starts talking to the astronomers. And he was like, you know what would be really cool, astronomer dude? Teach me math. <laughs> teach me some math. <laughs> teach me some math. Just teach me things. I want to know numbers. <laughs> and so the astronomers taught him math. They taught him astronomy. And he actually ended up being hired by the observatory and like an observatory astronomer like an without inter. a degree he was like an without intern without a degree and he yeah. actually and he so actually he worked really close yeah. with edwin hubble excellent oh yes my gosh. yes and actually earned an honorary doctorate but at this point he has all the knowledge for uh -huh. yeah. He, yeah and so he he right. has completely earned it but the pluto connection yeah. Yeah. so we all know Clyde Tombaugh. Maybe you don't know, but maybe we all know that Clyde Tombaugh uh -huh. at the Lowell Observatory up in Flagstaff, Arizona, discovered Pluto. Yes. Pluto. 
And it became the night planet until it became not, not a dwarf the planet. planet. Until it became not the night planet. The king of the dwarfs. But Milton had actually, because he was asked to, had taken a picture of that part of the skies and then two nights later took another part. Another picture of that part of the sky. That's exactly, that's exactly how he did it. Yes, the only problem was, is that on night one, Pluto was too close to a star. Oh, oh no. no! On night two, it fell onto a flaw of the photographic plate. No! Oh, so that's miserable. So he would have discovered it before it could come by. What are the okay? All right, so, so first of all, what are the odds number one of just randomly discovering Pluto like right? that? But then, what are the odds of the first uh, plate being too close to the star, and then the odds of the second plate well, to be in the plot, and then the odds of that happening all together oh from a fucking mule driver? Uh, yeah, whoa. and that wow. is a story of Milton Hemison, the mule driver that almost discovered the planet. Neat. Well, discovered the dwarf planet Pluto. Cheers, everybody. Bye. Follow us on all the things. Follow us on all the things. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.